Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to automatically summarize YouTube videos with Perplexity AI. So I'm a YouTube content creator and I often post new YouTube videos on my YouTube channel. And now here I want to aware my audience on my social media account with the summary of the video. So here I want to generate the summary of my video using a Perplexity AI, but doing it manually is a very time consuming task. So now I've planned to automate this entire process. So here in this case, I want that whenever a new video is uploaded on my YouTube channel, then automatically using that video URL and the title, a new summary should be generated using Perplexity AI. And after that, automatically the content generated should be added in my Google Sheets as a new row. So here to automate this entire process, I need to build a connection between these applications using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to understand how to automatically summarize YouTube videos with Perplexity AI using Pabli Connect. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I am a YouTube creator and I often post new YouTube videos on my YouTube channel. And I want to aware my audience about my new YouTube video with a post on my social media with the summary of my new video posted. But watching the entire video and summarizing it takes time. So by using Perplexity AI, I am going to generate a summary for my every new video posted and here to automate this entire process, I am going to use an automation software so that I can automatically summarize my YouTube videos, making it easier and faster to create concise summaries. So here to build this connection, I need to connect my YouTube channel with my Perplexity AI account and Google Sheets where I want to store that particular summary generated. So here building this connection helps me quickly generate content for social media post allowing me to share the highlights of my video and keep my audience engaged without spending hours manually summarizing the video myself. It's a great way to save time and still create engaging posts for my followers. So here to build this connection, I'm going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus it keeps everything organized and error free so you can focus on growing your business hustle free. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect and you can visit it by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as automatically summarize YouTube videos with Perplexity AI. And here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select a folder as per your need and also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here on my screen, you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here in my trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger application as YouTube. 
So YouTube is a platform where people can watch, upload and share videos on just about any topic. People use it for entertainment, learning and even for creating their own content. Whether you are looking for music, tutorials, news or funny videos, YouTube has something for everyone. It's easy to access on any device, making it a go-to place for watching videos and connecting with creators worldwide. So here in my YouTube trigger step, I am going to select my trigger event as new video and channel with video URL. So that when Whenever I am going to upload a new video on my YouTube channel, then automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. Or you can say that whenever I am going to upload a new video on my YouTube channel, then automatically this entire workflow is going to be triggered. And now here to connect my YouTube with Pabli Connect, here I am going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I am going to select add new connection. If your YouTube account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I am going to click on this connect with YouTube. Here I am going to select my desired account. And here I am going to click on this continue and give access to Pabli as your data is secured with Pabli. Authorization successful. So here you can see we are now successfully connected. So moving forward, and then here you can see it is asking me to select the channel ID. So here in this particular channel ID field, I need to select my YouTube channel for which I want to run this workflow. So here you can see it has already selected my channel, which is named as demo channel because this channel is connected with my Google account. And now here after selecting this channel ID. What we are going to do is that we are going to upload a new video on our YouTube channel. So for that, let me take you back to my YouTube channel. So here in my YouTube channel, we are going to upload a new video by clicking on this button given over here. And then we are going to select upload video. And I'm going to select the files. So I'm going to select the file from my file storage only. So I'm going to select a random file. And here for the title, I'm going to enter the title as how to integrate repair shopper with Google Sheet. So here you can see I have entered the title and I have uploaded a video over here. So I'm going to scroll it little down and then I'm going to click on this next button given over here. And here you can see it is asking me to select the option over here. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to click on this next. And here you can see it is asking me for video elements. So here I'm going to do it next. And here for the visibility I'm going to select public and then I'm going to publish it. So I'm going to upload a random video. So here you can see we have successfully published a video over here. So now let's go back to our Pabli's workflow. And now here after publishing a new video on our YouTube channel, what we are going to do is that we are going to click on the save and send us request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the video URL that we have recently posted. And here you can see the kind of video scrolling little down. Here you can see the published date and time. And here you can see the title which says how to integrate repair shopper with Google Sheets. And here you can see we haven't received any description because we haven't added any description for our video while posting. So scrolling little down. And here you can see some other information as well. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to use this video URL and the title to generate a summary for our YouTube video. So let's check this video URL. So here I'm going to copy it and I'm going to open it in a new tab. And here you can see it has taken us to the same video over here. So that means we have successfully connected our YouTube with Pabli Connect. And with this, we have successfully set up our trigger over here. But now let me tell you that YouTube is a pooling based application. That means it will look for the new responses in every 10 minutes. So with this, we have successfully set up our trigger over here. And now let's move to our action step. And here in this action step, what we are going to do is that we are going to generate the summary of a YouTube video with the help of Perplexity AI. So here in this action application, I'm going to search for my application that is Perplexity AI. So Perplexity AI is an advanced AI tool that helps with understanding and generating human-like text. It's designed to answer questions, assist with writing and provide information on various topics. People use Perplexity AI because it makes finding answers and creating content easier by using sophisticated language models to deliver accurate and relevant responses. Whether you need help with research, drafting text or just finding quick answer, Perplexity AI offers a smart and efficient way to get the information you need. So here in my perplexity AI action step, I'm going to select my action event as create chat completion. 
and now here after selecting my action event i'm going to click on this connect so that i can connect my perplexity ai with pably connect and again here to build a new connection i'm going to select add new connection if your perplexity ai account is already connected with pably connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection it is asking me to enter the api token so here in the help text it says log into perplexity ai and navigate to the settings icon click on the api section and then read the api key so here you can see we have received a hyperlink for the api section over here so i'm going to click it over here and here you can see it has directly taken me to the api window in my perplexity ai account so it easily got navigated because i was already logged in my perplexity ai account so to get easily directed make sure you're already logged in your perplexity ai account and here you can see under the api settings i have received my api key over here so i'm going to copy it but if you want then you can generate a new api key by clicking on this generate button given over here so moving back to my pably's workflow and here i'm going to paste the api token and now here after entering this api token over here i'm going to click on the save given over here and here you can see we are now successfully connected so moving forward and then here it is asking me to select the model so here i'm going to select the model by clicking on this drop down menu given over here and here you can see all the model options which are available so here i'm going to select this particular model and now here after selecting this model here it is asking me to select the roles so i'm going to click on this drop down menu and here you can see the roles which i can select which is user system and assistant so i'm going to select the role as user moving forward and then here it is asking me for a content user so here in this content user field what i need to do is that i need to enter a prompt which i want to run to generate a summary for my youtube video so i'm going to enter the prompt as give me a summary of video video length title title write in paragraphs keep the formatting as plain text without bolding or highlighting any text or headers strictly avoid adding any special characters such as star or hashtag for bold text in the content so so here you can see the prompt that i have entered and here you can see i have used a variable in the place of this video link and the title over here so here instead of entering these details manually what i'm going to do is that i'm going to map these details so mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i'm going to map the data from the response i've received in my trigger step mapping makes the text dynamic so that whenever we are going to upload a new video in our youtube channel then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one so here i'm going to map the video link so this is my video link that i have received so here i'm going to map it and here for the title i'm going to map my video's title so scrolling little down and here you can see the title of my video so here i'm going to map it and now here after mapping all the required details moving forward and then here you can see it is asking me for max tokens so here in the help text it says enter the maximum number of completion tokens ensure the total of max tokens and prompt tokens does not exceed the model's context window limit if left blank the model will generate tokens until a stop token or the context window end is reached example 900 so i'm going to give a random max token such as 800 you can give it as per your need so moving forward and then here it is asking me for temperature presence penalty and some other fields so here these fields are not a required field so here i'm going to leave them blank but if you want to add any other detail then you can do it as per your need and now here after entering all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here and here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the model created scrolling little down and here in this message content you can see the summary that perplexity ai has generated for us with the video title how to integrate repair shopper with google sheets so here you can see the entire summary that it has generated with the help of the prompt that we have given so with this we have successfully generated a summary for a youtube video using perplexity ai so with this we have successfully set up our action step as well now let's move to another action step by clicking on this add action step button given over here and here in this action step what we are going to do is that we are going to add the detail of video and the summary that we have generated for the video in our google sheets as a new row so for that here in this action step we are going to select the action application as google sheets so google sheet is a free web based spreadsheet program that allows you to create edit and share spreadsheets online it's like having a powerful and flexible digital workbook that you can access from any device with an internet connection people use google sheets because it's super convenient for collaborating with others in real time whether you are tracking expenses creating project plans analyzing data or working on a group assignment google sheets makes it easy to work together and stay organized plus it integrates seamlessly with other google apps like google drive 
Drive and Google Forms, making it a go-to tool for personal and professional use. So here in my Google Sheets action step, I'm going to select my action event as add a new row. So that after generating a summary for my YouTube video, automatically the details should be added in my Google Sheets as a new row. And now here to connect my Google Sheets with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Google Sheets account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this sign in with Google. Here I'm going to select my desired account. And here I'm going to click on this allow and give access to Pabli as your data is secured with Pabli. Authorization successful. So here you can see we are now successfully connected. So moving forward and then here it is asking me to select the spreadsheet. So here you can see my spreadsheet which I have created with the name YouTube video summary. So moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here I'm going to select my spreadsheet as YouTube video summary. And then I'm going to select my sheet as sheet one. And then here you can see it is asking me for a video URL, title and summary. So basically these are the fields which I've entered in my Google Sheets. So moving back to my Pabli's workflow. And here again, I'm going to map all these details. So here for the video URL, I'm going to map the video URL that I have received in my YouTube's trigger response. So here you can see the video URL. Here for the title, I'm going to map the title. Moving forward and lastly here I'm going to map the summary from the response which I've generated through my perplexity AI. So here you can see the summary so here I'm going to map it and now here after entering all the required details I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully added a new detail in our Google Sheet. So now let's go and check it. And here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received the new video URL, the new title and here you can see the summary generated. So with this we have successfully set up our entire automation. Now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation what we are going to do is that we are going to post a new video on our YouTube channel. And for that let me take you back to my YouTube channel. So here in my YouTube channel, I'm going to post new video by clicking on this create button given over here. Then I'm going to select upload videos and then I'm going to select the files from here and then I'm going to select a video. And here I'm going to give the title as how to integrate Razor Pay with Keep Using Public Connect. So here you can see I have entered a title and I have uploaded a video over here. So now I'm going to click on this next and I'm going to select option and then I'm going to select the visibility as public then publish. So here you can see I have successfully published a video over here. So now let's go and check our Google Sheets. Here I'm going to refresh it. And here you can see after refreshing also we haven't received a new response over here. That is because here I've already told you that YouTube is a pooling based application and it will look for the new responses in every 10 minutes. So here we have to wait for some time to receive a new response. So now it's been some time. So now let's go and check our Google Sheets. And here you can see we have successfully received a new response over here where we have received the video URL. Here you can see the title same as how to integrate Razorpay with Keep using Pabli Connect. And here you can see the summary that has been generated using Perplexity AI over here. So here you can see the summary that we have received in our Google Sheets. And with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as YouTube and our action as Perplexity AI and Google Sheets. So that when Whenever we are going to upload a new video on our YouTube channel, then automatically using that video URL and the title, a summary for that video is going to be generated using Perplexity AI and after that, automatically that content generated is going to add in our Google Sheets as a new row. And now here after getting the summary of the video, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to post that summary with my new video link URL to my different social media accounts so that I can aware my audience about the new video. So that's all for this video. Now if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clue link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.